Okay, so we are now in Chester. And you can see a lot of the buildings are very, very old. It looks old. They have a lot of like interesting looking buildings. So we have the clock over there, so we're gonna go over the clock. Alright, let's go. Okay, so that's the Chester clock. It's a bit busy in the we're in the town center actually. Just walking around the Chester Chester wall. Inside, which is nice, it's very nice beautiful. Stained glass windows, yeah. And the hallway is really nice as well. It has that Harry Potter y mm. vibe from the garden bit in the middle, and the garden bit is very peaceful, yeah. Very contrast to the very busy inside of the cathedral, yeah. Then outside, there's like very nice buildings as well. Let's go, okay. So, we're just walking around the city walls. It looks nice. I mean, look at that. So this city wall is one of the points of interest here in Chester. And yeah, it has nice views everywhere. It's really beautiful the view from this bridge ish. Is this a bridge? Yeah. Let's keep walking. So we're now in the old D bridge, which is that one. Which is the other attraction here in Chester, points of interest in Chester. Outside the city, are we outside the city? City wall kind of thing. Because well, that's the city wall, isn't it? So that's the city wall there, the one we were walking at earlier. Yeah. Looks very beautiful. It's quite busy at that side. You can hire a boat and all that stuff. But yeah. We're cheap, so we're not gonna hire any boat. <laughs> There's a lot of ducks and others. Are those seagulls as well? It's very noisy that side. 
because it's very busy. There's a huge queue or long queue as well. I'm not sure what that is for. Maybe for the bus or to go into the restaurant. So, but yeah, it's very nice on this side or in this area. And then another bridge there. It looks like the Millennium Bridge. So where's the park? It's very busy. We are now at the other Chester points of interest attraction or a tourist attraction which is the Roman Amphitheater. So they accidentally discovered this one during a uh, renovation of the D house, like a convent, a girls' school before. So they had this amphitheater discovered. So it looks like this before. So they had like a miniature of what it would have looked like before. So that is the amphitheater, or what it would have looked like before it was it got or it got destroyed. Apparently, Romans built or build amphitheaters as a sign of power, apparently. Right, let's continue walking. <laughs> right, so that's the city center there, or the town earlier where we were. So, I'm gonna go back. Let's go back. So we're walking on the walls again, city walls again, and that's the amphitheater there at the back. Hi everyone, so I'm gonna end this video here. So we're sat at the top, the Chester Rose. We're just very tired. <laughs> We've been walking since morning. It's still very busy actually. Let's check let's around. Let me show you around. We're at the top of the Chester Rose. So Chester Rose is like the second floor of like shops. So they can have more shops at the top. So yeah. It's still quite busy. So yeah, I'm ending this video here. We're just we've just been sitting around, resting, <coughs> having a few drinks. So just gonna end this video here. I hope you enjoyed our Chester adventure for today. And if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos. So tomorrow, or the next video, tomorrow we're going to Blackpool. We're going to Blackpool tomorrow. So yeah, so keep an eye for our next adventure and follow us on Blackpool. So stay tuned. See you guys in a bit. Bye!